Hi, welcome back to Captivating Makeup. I'm your host, Emma, and today we are going to be trying some new products. Uh, just a couple that I have in my stash. One of them is going to be the About Face Performer Skin Focus Foundation. We're going to be trying the Judy Doll Highlighting Powder in this pretty little color right here. And we're going to try the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in Caught You Bare Naked from... <laughs> Let's see if I can hold on to it from Wet n Wild. I saw Johnny Ross play with this one and I got really curious because I've been on the hunt for a cool toned beige. Not my favorite finish because it's a little bit more shine than I usually go for. It's a little bit more shinier, but we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see if it works, if it's the color I like. And maybe I can find it in a different formula after that. Cause I find like high shine li liquid lip li liquid lip sticks blah, 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 get in the lines of my lips. And I don't like that look. It sometimes just feels goopy and gooey. And with that said, like subscribe, comment, whatever you can afford. And if you don't like my videos, I will see you on the way out. Bye. All right, so we're gonna start with the Skin Focused Foundation from About Face. So it is in the shade F2 Cool. And I'm interested about this because I've been using retinol on my face. And even though my face has kind of calmed down a little, I wanna start using, I wanna see if using some more natural foundations, not quite matte foundations, will kind of help with the texture on my skin. And I heard this one was good. It is medium coverage, so it's not full coverage like I enjoy, but I'll see if I can get it a little bit more full coverage comparatively. The main goal today is to cover up this little imperfection and that little imperfection today because I'm breaking out and I don't know why. So this foundation, um, the about face one it actually looks like a lot of their different products so their eye paint specifically this is kind of a similar bottle to what they what is used to package that and i know this has a whoop, doe foot applicator oh let's let's actually put my hand behind it so i'm a little curious on how this is going to go i've never really used a doe foot applicator i've always used a pump or a squeezy tube so we're just gonna Put some on my face. It's definitely an interesting application. I am he also hesitantly opening this bottle because I'm scared that if I open it too quick, it's gonna go everywhere and it's gonna get on my clothes and then I'm never gonna get it out of my clothes. And I hate when I cannot get makeup out of my clothes because I am trying so hard for them to look pretty and nice. All right, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with the forehead. It's blending out pretty nice, so it's not giving me a ton of trouble blending. Ooh, okay, so I knew this going in, so I can't, I can't be mad. I cannot be mad that it's not full coverage even though I want full coverage really bad. But I think this is a good color. It's definitely matching my face. Like I don't see a difference really between the foundation and my face specifically. I wouldn't say shiny, but definitely looks like bare skin. I'm gonna put a little more right here, right here, and then a little right there on the chin. A little bit on that red patch right there and there, and one down my nose, just to give 
see if it'll give a little bit more coverage in those areas. Cause I don't think I got my nose very well or under my nose. I'm going to see if, okay. So it's not, it's not covering on my red, which I knew going in. As you can see, this is a big struggle for me. I, all right, so it covered up, it looks like it covered up this little spot right here a little better than the spot above. See, cause this one right here, you can still kind of see a little more. You can see that redness a little bit. That might just have to be concealer's job. It is pretty, don't get me wrong. It is a very pretty foundation so far. It's playing well with my primer. So far, I'm not seeing any patches, any areas where I feel like it's disrupted. You can definitely see my freckles. And of course that bump on my forehead. So we're gonna put a little, we're gonna cover a little bit of that up with the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Concealer. And I'm gonna take a brush for this one actually. So we're just gonna, cause I think we need a little bit more full coverage on that little spot. And a brush is not gonna absorb as much product as a sponge. So we fixed all that up. Overall, it's a good start. You can definitely tell my skin is very like, not dewy, but very natural looking. It must be wild. Cause the, I have not, I have not seen myself in a medium coverage foundation in a while, especially something natural. I definitely, I don't know how I feel about it. Like it looks more like me than it usually looks like. And I don't know how to feel about that. With that being said, I'm going to put a little bit more makeup on my face and we will come back to do the lips. See you in a moment. Hi, I'm back. I, while I was gone, I played with my Natasha Denona Retro Palette. You can see which shades are very well loved to the point that they are crumbling out of my palette. It's a very dirty palette, but she is well loved so much that uh, a friend who, uh, who knows me pretty well got me a backup. That's how much I love that palette. And I also use the Fenty Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara. But the one I did the other week, I feel like that one didn't give as much length, as much volume, and held my curl as well. Felt like it was very lackluster. This one, this one gets the job done. Thank you, Fenty. And then on top of that, I put on two lip liners because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do today. Which one? Uh, one is from NYX Professional Makeup. Uh, it's the Lip Pencil in Pale Pink. And the other one is the Color Spell from Profusion in Mauve. I wanted to try it with two different colors because I thought both colors would go well, but I didn't know which look it would go well. If uh, the look I did today was going to go with it. We're gonna try it out. We got the, the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit and Caught You Bare Naked. We're gonna see how this looks. <laughs> Cause this might be the right color, but not the right formula. And I am so trying to find that cool toned beige that is gonna go with a brown lip liner or whatever lip liner I want. So we're just gonna have to see. Oh dear. Okay, we're gonna get a lip pencil and a lip pencil, a, a brush. We're just gonna blend it in a little bit. just as I suspected. 
so the color is right and it's going really well with both lip liners. I think for today I'm going to do the mauve so I might have to take off the pink at some point but I'm being lazy right now. So it's the right color but as you can see it's kind of going away a little bit once I pressed my lips together and it's really emphasizing those lines on my lips which I'm not a fan of when it comes to liquid lipstick. I know matte formulas are a little drier and can do the same effect, but this one, I don't, I don't know. The high shine ones always, I feel like, just really emphasize those, it's, it's kind of gooey, so it really emphasizes those lines. And I can definitely see them here. Not uber happy about that. Right color, wrong formula. Still on the hunt. Dang it. <sighs> All right, well, we'll go to our final. We'll put on some powder, we'll put on some setting spray, and then we'll go to the Judy Doll highlighter. And we're back. Hi. So I took a little bit of a break. Um, had to do some other stuff and just wanted to see how everything went I did reapply my lipstick off camera and I fixed the the lip liner so it's only the beige and the mauve there's no pink anymore so far the foundation has held up pretty well from what I can see so far like I said, I had to reapply the lipstick, not because I needed to get rid of the lip liner, but just from normal drinking, eating, messing around, just different things that I was doing. It does not have a great taste. I got a little in my mouth. It does not taste good. But I did want to wear this a little while before moving on. Now we are going to try the Judy Doll highlighting powder this is the color that we're working with i'm just gonna swirl my brush around get a good bit and we're gonna oh now i don't know how it's showing up in the camera but what i am getting is just pure glitter like hands down just pure white glitter <sighs> got a little messy it's a little everywhere uh definitely definitely a little messy this is straight up glitter particles right now on my temple i don't know if y'all can see the individual glitter kind of looks a little wet but if you are more into a glimmering highlight or a glowy highlight not a glitter highlight i definitely would stay away from this like pure glitter we're gonna put that on my brush one more time and as you can see it is there's no pigment just glitter i mean it's pretty don't get me wrong like i don't hate how it looks it's just more of preference and how you feel about highlighters in general that will kind of determine how you approach this one. All right, final thoughts. I've been wearing the foundation now for about, I'd say about an hour and a half, two hours. Does not look bad. I did powder and set with a setting spray definitely still looks like skin i'm not looking super oily at the moment that is my biggest concern right now is looking oily especially around my nose my forehead and my chin which is why i don't usually go for natural foundations anymore just because my natural oils will really melt down the matte foundation to give to give more of a natural look I don't think I hate the natural, 
I don't think I hate the natural look and I don't think I hate the medium coverage. Is it definitely weird to see myself outside of matte foundation after so long? I mean, so long. I used to wear natural foundations all the time. I've not worn them in a while. I've been with matte foundations. I've been pretty happy with them. So far, I don't hate this. It's actually kind of cute. Definitely gonna try it a few more times and I'm gonna wear it throughout the day. I usually wear my makeup close to eight plus hours, just depending on how my day goes. But I'm not hating. I'm gonna see how it holds up though. This, if it starts to get oily, I might use this as more of a, more of, you know, a short term time foundation. Something that I'm gonna go run errands in, or maybe I'm getting a cup of coffee, but then I'm gonna take off my makeup once I get home. That seems like what more this foundation might turn into instead of my long term, long wearing matte foundations. The Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick from Wet n Wild and Caught You Bare Naked. I like the color. The color is pretty. I'm not liking how it's sitting on the lips. I feel like it's emphasizing those lines really well and I feel like it's a little goopy. Plus it tastes bad. I know you're not supposed to eat it. That is, That was definitely not my intention, but I did drink something and a little bit of, well, that's fun. Something's going on with my contact. So that's why I'm making weird faces. Other than that, a little bit got into my mouth as I was drinking something, not a great taste. I mean, I can't blame it too much. I knew what kind of formula it was going in, knowing it was gonna be one of those more shiny, maybe latexy is a word I'm looking for. It feels very latex. I knew it was gonna be like that, but I thought I'd give it a chance again. Why do I keep giving these liquid lipsticks that are high shine a chance. Why do I keep why do I keep using them when I know they don't work? At least for me. Pre prefer preferably I would like to use just a matte liquid lipstick and a gloss over it. I think that gives me a better look than what I am getting here. But it's like it's maybe 5 bucks. It's not a bad price point. And they do have a matte version. It's just the matte version was sold out. So I bought the high shine. That, that was my mistake. I will wait for the matte version to go back into stock this color. At least it's a similar color. And we'll try that instead. Hopefully we'll get a redemption video with that. The Judy Doll, the highlighting powder. Now I haven't worn this one as long as the foundation and the liquid lipstick. In the camera, I think you see more of like a glow, shine, very wet looking, but it is straight up glitter particles. Think Diamond Balm from Fenty Beauty. It is also very messy. I got some right here. Uh, there is some on my chest. Uh, hands are covered in it, even the compact. If you look at the compact, it's just got all those glitter particles. Like, it is definitely a messy product. If you love glitter highlighters, definitely a more affordable option than the Fenty Diamond Balms. I believe this was about $10, while the Fenty Balms are almost $40. <sighs> definitely take into consideration that this one is going to be a little messier when you pick it up with your brush. Maybe I'll try it with a finger to see if it's any less messy, but I'm sure the more you use your hands on it, the messier it's going to be. I, I do not doubt that for a second. Not my favorite K-Beauty product I have ever tried, which is sad because I like a lot of K-Beauty products. And I was really looking forward to playing with Judy Doll and I had seen so many videos of this and it looked beautiful. And it does look beautiful, it's just, messy and I don't I don't got time for messy I got time for messy if I'm not involved if you get what I mean 
I do not have time for messy makeup. I'm getting too old for it. I know, 27, too old for, oh, I should not bang that on the table. I'm getting too old for messy makeup. My recommendations out of all of these is definitely the foundation. I think the foundation is worth your money. It is only $22, which is great for a drugstore foundation. If you like a natural finish, if you like something a little, that's gonna cover, but not cover everything. It's still gonna show a little red. It's still gonna show your imperfections. That is why we have concealer. Concealer saves everything. But if that's what you're looking for, I highly recommend this. Definitely am liking this so far. If there's any changes, if this gets a little too much throughout the day, I'll make sure to mention it. But this is gonna be my recommendation. I see why people like this so far because, let me see. I know I have setting powder on, but oh, nothing on my hands, so not bad. And the color match is good. I'm not seeing like a huge difference on my neck or anything. Yeah, this is what I recommend. So thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. It was fun reviewing some new makeup. I have been itching to play with makeup for a few days now, especially when I got this. Oh my gosh, I, I immediately like swatched this on my face as soon as I got it to see if it was a good match. And then once I found out it was a good match, I was happy. And then I wanted to put it immediately on my face. I wasn't supposed to film today, but I couldn't help myself. I needed to play with this foundation. I was trying to end a video there, wasn't I? Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Comment below if you are looking at the About Face foundation. And, you know, try it out yourself. See if you like it. I hope you all have an amazing day. And bye.